Desperate times call for exceptional leaders. But there is a fine line between admirable strength and distasteful expedients. And a strong hand alone may not be enough to secure lasting victory. To fight for survival or advancement is only natural. Yet a wise man knows when to put their own ambitions aside to serve a greater cause. Once weaker rivals have fallen, and sides have been chosen. Then comes the greatest test. The final battle. Where only one will triumph. Hello guys, for second Spartan here. Welcoming everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Hope you guys are having some awesome and amazing time. And here we are with uh, the early access faction guide video and uh, I am gonna cover uh, six factions and I think it will be like seven in details so five of them will be from fates divided and uh, one is Liu Yang and he is available to play in 190 CE and 194 C 190 is the main three kingdoms and 194 is World betrayed and uh, Cao Cao, Liu Bei, Yuang Shao, Liu Zhang, and Meng Wu will be covering in details uh, in the campaign map and all the other details and stuff so that you guys can have an idea what we're gonna have. And so, on that note, yeah, and uh, I will be uploading my legendary guides and other stuff also. So, feel free to check out in my YouTube and do consider checking my legendary gameplays on. Uh, my Twitch, uh, the links will be down below. And for now, I want to show you what, what all factions are playable in Fates uh, Divided. So, first things are Cao Cao, Liu Bei, um, Yuang Shao, Liu Zhang, and uh, Meng Guo in uh, recommended characters. They are playable. And here in Warlords, another one is Sun Se, which is playable. Then in regional Warlords, you have Liu Bao, Chi Zhei, and Ma Tang. Bandits and Outlaws, you can play as Zheng Xiang and Zheng Yan. And Southern Tribes, you can play as Shimake and uh, Mulu. And Meng Hao's name we have taken earlier. From Yellow Turban, only one remains that is Gongdu. And yeah, these are the uh, uh, factions you can play in the skills here. The other factions, uh, you cannot play Fates Divided. So yeah, that's it. So do consider... Uh, uh, dropping a like if you enjoy the video and do consider subscribing uh, my channel and uh, take the notification button because I'm new in YouTube so yeah let's go and let's begin with Sao Sao and let's see what we have face divided and once again thanks a lot to creative assembly for providing me the early access code uh, as uh, I am a verified content creator for creative assembly thanks a lot really appreciate it the aka creative person thank you and thanks a lot once again for dropping in and <coughs> stick around lots of more funds gonna come let's go and check out south so anyway here we are in the beginning of the campaign the main screen and this is uh, 200 ce face divided dlc and uh, in <coughs> Yuang Shao <laughs> campaigns against Cao Cao. So, um, yeah, strategic mastermind is Cao Cao's uh, main thing. Playstyle focus is diplomatic operations. Starting situation is a hard and recommended characters are available. They are the Outun, Xiao Yuan, then Yu Zhu, then Cao Ren, uh, Cao Cao's brother. These are the recommended characters. And um, yeah, 
on our main faction we call it kind of currency kind of uh, it's uh, infamy kind of thing for bandits that is credibility uh, which will be available and we can uh, enact vicious uh, schemes we can incite proxy wars we can uh, uh, deceive uh, other uh, diplomatic diplomatic uh, negotiations and we can influence diplomatic relations credibility decays over time so on that special units what we got are tiger leopard cavalry and heavy tiger leopard cavalry and uh, the special uh, buildings uh, are one of them is uh, farming garrison which gives us plus food and uh, uh, negative uh, not negative actually less uh, military district cost as well as uh, positive replenishment apart from them we get uh, Pontian conscription which increases uh, rank for our new recruits increases our movement range for army seasonal retinues food from farming and agricultural garrison cost and uh, uh, by the uh, uh, cost of population growth so our growth will be a little hamper. apart from that we can do different teams against uh, various characters so we have to go inside the campaign uh, map and we have to check them out so um, yeah and uh, main character uh, lineup uh, also starts with dutiful which gives them plus 8 authority minus 15 uh, for higher office plus 10 satisfaction ambitious which gives 8 authority plus 50 percent desire for higher office plus 5 percent income from all sources then his ambition gain then uh, he is suspicious which gives him plus six cunning and plus two instinct and uh, plus ten undercover network co uh, cost because he is suspicious. he is a character of commander type he uh, gets uh, two spies extra than others his re uh, deployment cost is minus 25 and minus 50 cost uh, of recruitment for the cavalry so yeah, let's go in the campaign map and let's uh, check what all other features we have waiting for us. You are the protector of the Emperor, Tao Tao, and control vast lands besides. Yet this has not endeared you to the other warlords, who desire what you have and despise that you have it. Yuran Shao is the largest threat you face. He has consolidated the lands north of the great Yangtze, and his loyalists Yen Liang and Wen Zhou bar your path. Yet his other generals may be more pliable to your offers. Although Liu Bei and his brothers were once your allies, they have turned their colors and sided with Yuran Shao. They too will need pacifying. So too has Yuran Shao brought the yellow turban remnants into his fold, and they harass your borders. It is past time they were extinguished for good. China may once again know peace, Tao Tao, but only if you do not relent. Crush all your enemies, Unify the nation and bring order to a chaotic land at last. Okay, guys, in the campaign map, the storm in the north. The, in in uh, the inevitable has happened. As you uh, always knew, it would. You are one time ally. Yuang Shao has declared you a tyrant. He raised his forces against you. Oh. Uh, your own. Unfortunately, in the field, you are outnumbered. Vital supplies are running low, and you are now surrounded by enemies all looking to topple your power. However, you know this land better than any other of them, and uh, you are able to restrict the fight to your home ter home territory with superior tactics and good advice. You will surely prevail. So, repel Yuang Shao and his allies. While uh, you mount a counter-offensive, second one is you have powerful officers within your faction. Use them wisely. Then uh, retaining hold of emperor is the utmost importance. So we have to be sure that we are holding the emperor. Okay, so these are the starting things. What we uh, begin with.
then uh, uh, control the following two settlements either by direct ownership from military clients one is Piyang uh, Dong and another is Hanai uh, opposite to Dong uh, other side of the yellow river then uh, we have to engage Wang Yu and we'll get 1000 treasury he is right there uh, we'll be coming back to this then defeat five armies or garrisons of the faction of Yuan Chao and we'll get 3000 treasury okay here we go so first things first let's go and check the map so as we see uh, th uh, this is our dominion so um, uh, right now we have some uh, land in the northern side of uh, Liu Bei and we have uh, all of Lu Bu's old land and Yuang Shu's land we have uh, Sun Tse, he is kind of mad at us. We have uh, our ally Cheng Deng in uh, the south, and we are at war with Guangdu. But uh, we have Zheng Zhu, uh, he is kind of our vassal, he do not like us. On the north, we are a little bit, uh, uh, you know, our territories, we are in the north, we, we are surrounded uh, by Zheng Liu, and we are again at war with. Gao Gang, he is a vassal of uh, Yuang Chao. So right now, if we check, uh, we are at war with Zheng Xiang, we are at war with Yuang Chang, we are uh, at war with Yuang Zi, and we are at war with Gao Gang. It's four factions. Uh, we have Zheng Xiu, he is our vassal. And apart from that, we uh, have uh, Yuang Chao, Gong Du. Okay, so those are, uh, we are at Alliance War. And we have Cheng Deng as our um, allies right now. Okay. So uh, this thing is unimportant. Mostly you get the real red hair for Sao Sao in the turn one. Other things depend uh, on campaign every time it randoms. Doesn't matter. So let's go and yeah. After the maps, uh, let's check our army. Like how many armies we have. Right now it shows we have like five armies. Yeah small and bigger one considering so let's uh, begin with Cao Cao he's right there and this is the force uh, which is telling us uh, uh, to uh, start for spring. The uh, earth must first be cleared. fighting against Gao, uh, Guang Yu or engage against him we have one more general uh, who is available right here and you know the beautiful thing is you can Probably attack uh, the city of uh, Gaogan. It has a pretty tiny amount of garrison, as well as uh, one sentinel and uh, two our units. So it'll be a little bit. Uh, you have cavalry and uh, spearmen. It'll be a fair fight. Or else you can come here and sack it. Take this settlement. On the other hand, we have uh, the brother. Uh, with the both brothers are alive. Now, how Wang, who is uh, right now uh, protecting a farm, I yeah, and uh, here uh, the yellow turbans are about to attack him. Maybe you can use the garrison. We have decent amount of garrison here. So if uh, we use them properly, so we can uh, actually, yeah, it's a decent amount of uh, uh, things. If we use them, we can actually counter the guy also. Our capital, we doesn't have that much garrison. So we'll come back to that uh, again. Let, let's first check the map. So here we have a buffer of our uh, vassal right there. Uh, he is a kind of buffer zone with the yellow turban. In the northern side, we uh, actually have uh, the whole uh, province of Hedong. Yeah, uh, we have the Kui Pass. We have head on and then we have uh, we can actually go here and take them we have uh, Hanai and one settlement of Hanai and the farm belongs to Ang yeah and we have the full province of uh, Ying Chang Ying Chuang I mean the Chan province is fully ours Liu Yang is fully ours so yeah th these are uh, the territories you start there are two other armies. One is here to counter Yuang Shao right here if he wants to cross the river. Maybe we can use the garrison here uh, to help us. So we, uh, if he uh, tries to come in or else we can, we can recruit some other men and stuff. 
and we have a bigger army here uh, Sauren is commanding it and uh, this is pretty significant size of the army uh, the absence of either you can attack uh, Zhang He of Yang Yuang Shao here or you can go back to him uh, defend it so it's up to your wish this army is uh, kind of invading army and you all already have Shadang also so that is kind of in the enemy province so you can see how to deal with that you, so yeah these are the armies we started we started five armies and <clears throat> right now after that we should go on the family tree okay so here is the family tree and Sauren is uh really he's kind of a uh, cousin brother we are the uh, descendants of Sao Song so we have Lady Brian uh, as our wife. We have Sao Pi, 13 years old. It will and I need another three years in the campaign for him to come out of age. And Sao Zhang and Sao Zi is right there. And we have Sao Ren. He is the family member. He is 32. Sao Sao is 45. Lady Brian is 40. Okay. And you can see the nobles. They have, we have pretty decent and very powerful nobles in our court. We have. Uh, Yazu, we have Guazia, we have Zhang Liao, we have Zhang Ba, wow. Hong Rong, Zhu Chu, then uh, Xiao Tun, Xiao Yuang, and Yu Xin, a new character. Then we have Zhong Yu, and then we have Wang Lang also under us, and uh, yeah, we have uh, Zhong Yu, Yu Xin, Zhu Huang, he is pretty decent dualist, and Cheng Yu. So we have pretty decent uh, office. So if we check our court, so we have we can actually increase the positions also. I'll come back to it. We have a prime minister uh, position back end right now. We have two chancellors. We have two grand commanded. We have uh, sorry. We have one uh, chancellor, one grand commanded, one grand excellency, one grand director, and one grand tutor. We have three uh, positions for administrator available and one position for prime minister now it's up to you. the prime minister and we have uh sao p he is already by the years position so yeah these are the characters we are in relationship we are uh, like nemesis we have liu bei <laughs> Gongdu is a rival yuang shao is rival and yeah we start with six thousand gold and uh, negative uh, 761 income at the moment okay let's go here and uh, for uh, the assignments we uh, can get up to five assignments so you can uh, check whatever assignment you want and what you want to uh, go ahead with them apart from them where uh, which buildings are required you can make it just be sure and one more thing what if I am playing I'll do is I'll put an administrator instantly here so that I can get a, a free Units available uh, to protect the emperor because uh, enemies are everywhere in all the sides, and uh, even bandit queen is right here, and she has a crazy amount of health also. So one I'll uh, administrator I'll use here, one I'll use Hanai. Right now Hanai have some garrison, but still we need more. So if we put administrator, it will be a decent defensive kind of situation right there, and maybe one more is where we. I think technically not that of uh, important so now we can decide who, who where to put them but basically with new units and stuff we need more administrator here so they can help us kind of situation so the administrators give you three units upkeep so whatever up, uh, 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 armies you are putting in or whatever generals you are putting in as administrator position is all units will be completely free of upkeep so right now, after the course, so let's go and check the researches. So we uh, we can start new research after five turns. So already you start with like minus two percent salary for your characters. Uh, we have uh, research that line, and we have a minus five per, uh, first uh, cost for upkeep for the building. And you start here my, uh, again another minus two salary also government reform so th that's a decent amount of salary reduction maybe for food you want you can, yeah. uh, i'll suggest to take 10 percent more replenishment 
research that will really help you in campaign. Apart from that, we can get one more available administrator here, one more trade agreement here. So these are the research you should focus. Um, means we are pretty much fine because we are Dutchy right now. So yeah, those are the research researches you can do. This is the the present situation. We already have a Dutchy. I mean Duke. So next is we can uh, we need 500 prestige points to become a king. We have to become emperor. So once the faction leader has earned enough prestige, uh, like when you become king, there will be with name, they will be claim the right to rule and proclaim themselves emperor, which will make their capital city of great power. Faction leader can also become emperor by capturing these seats as their uh, demonstration of their influence. Victory condition: Unite China by bringing all emperor states under your control and by owning 95 countries. I mean, you have to control 95 settlements. Plus, you have to bring all the emperor states. There will be three emperors available. <coughs> so we are duchy of we uh, or Sao Sao is no. So yeah, so we have to be careful from Liu Bei because he gets uh, his friend Zhang Fei. And Zhao uh, Yan, those are really good uh, generals along with Liu Bei. Zhao Yan, maybe we can uh, play uh, fight against him, but now again, how to play it, uh, it's entirely up to you. Mm, so we have to just be, uh, that's what I'm doing, be careful. Like here, here, this is the situation. Here we can maybe repel him. If he tries to go, we can move along with him. Northern part is not that much. Uh, kind of in a crazy situation but this army if we can build something better we can go ahead okay finances right now let's see we are actually making 9680 and we are spending 10,400 well we don't have the trade agreement stuff so that all things uh, after that you, uh, it may it will change or it will vary now spy position as i said earlier we can have more spy positions available Spies to send them here and there and check uh, what you're gonna do and all the other stuff. Right now, let's see if we want to recruit unit. Uh, we can actually get uh, light cr uh, crossbow artillery. We can get the juggernaut. We can get different cavalries. Uh, we can get artillery as uh, the strategy. Pretty much all the units will be pretty much unlocked for you because we are already position of the cheek um, that should be good right now is like how to how do you manage probably if you are losing one or two territories don't panic yeah and now let's go to the some special trades uh, where faction council so if you have your own council member we don't have a prime minister but we have the other guy right so we can ask them yeah and uh, Actually, earlier you could have asked them like uh, regularly, but they have changed it, I think. So you can ask, uh, see, strengthen relation through trade deals. This what? Uh, new trade agreement signed 25% trade bonus. If we uh, sign a trade agreement with Sunsei, then we'll uh, get thing And uh, six skilled character people of uh, brain tunnel uh, are few and far between, my lord. I know of a wise Confucian scholar uh, who was in the years of fight. I say the new character added on your code. Target all of um, okay. So uh, seek this skill. Uh, you can ask like you can select this character and see what he is asking. Now he is asking why I uh, Bay Pirate raids launch. Okay, effect. Gulf of Tonkin Pirates raids. Okay. If you ask Kong wrong, he will uh, tell we have to uh, uh, let other people come in. So he will give population plus for five turns. If you get more public order and uh, inside scandal in foreign court. And we <laughs> sometimes it is difficult to win over talented individuals, especially those who have served a lot for many seasons. They may need an intervention to persuade them to. Uh, to a newer posture so you can do is minus 30 satisfaction here either you can uh, yuang sheng for yuang sheng. but uh, kong rong is telling you so whatever you want to do you uh, the, uh, you have to spend money for that what is a pretty expensive 
So that's a this guy is telling 40 satisfaction that we think so you can just select you can select a prime minister and then he will also come to your negotiations so that's your faction council and uh, right now suppose uh, if we see Kong wrong just for example is the public order we can uh, we have approved this one as emperor because they are uh, offering us and then, yeah we have lost some uh, growth I uh, sorry money but uh, so you see uh, events uh, we are getting more public same thing as imperial intrigue so this is pretty important where uh, you, you spend your uh, credibility as uh, your currency imperial favor we are having right now see giving us two satisfaction to diplomatic uh, relation with an empire uh, all this other stuff so uh, we can actually select other factions like this like Liu Bei and uh, Liu Bei is more favorite for Emperor right now so our thing will also go down but we can select Liu Bei we can select the action increase uh, Imperial fa uh, favor or we can increase Imperial favor or enemy of the influence the diplomatic can get uh, plus 25 so suppose if I want to uh, get uh, enemy of the hunts uh, it, it will cost uh, 25 and we can confirm the action we cannot confirm it don't want to get a enemy of the hunts but uh, suppose we select Liu Bei and uh, we can Liu Bei let's select and we want to decrease uh, his uh, favor we can want to increase his favor it will gonna cost five but we cannot uh, ask him for uh, uh, going for enemy of the hunts right so let's try visit our our favor also decreased like uh, 10 but their favor has died. in return we have we got uh, like we are still in the stage so yeah this is how you use uh, your imperial entity now we have plots and schemes what we can do against it characters in exchange of uh, credibility again so suppose we have an owl to seek an owl maintain a, a air will harm body peace for the general gift of honor eyes and eyes within all these things are available so you can do now what we have to do is select a character especially a character everything uh, like if you select different one it uh, depends on the character like, what uh, stops you also let's select uh, why it is okay a character within a known faction who is not deployed as general okay so let's see who is deployed as general character within known faction who is deployed as a, okay we need a, a one who is deployed as general okay so Zhang Xiang is deployed as general right now we can increase her recruitment cost for 50% so right that yeah we can activate the scheme team activated right we have uh, three more schemes available and it refreshes in uh, uh, next one returns uh, in 15 turns so once we used it and after the 15 turns bring back but uh, for uh, on cooldown it's on 15 turns and uh, for five turns we got uh, plus five recruitment cost for Zeng uh, plus 50 percent more recruitment cost for Zeng Zeng all these things also can do right now if she wants to get new uh, units uh, it will like more expensive so i don't want to get attacked by everybody yeah and uh, units also i think we have shown uh, what all uh, special units good yeah uh, yeah i think uh, that's it pretty much uh, mainly be careful with your marriages and stuff if you find uh, get more administrative positions Check uh, all your uh, satisfaction and other stuff. All the agents uh, should be bearing their satisfaction level. Right now, most of them will be satisfied also because you are kind of touchy right now. I don't see anybody has like crazy satisfaction. You can just check it out this way. Well, okay, so he is having some. We can go to him, maybe you know, give him something, or we can give him some titles or whatever you want. You know? It's entirely up to you. Those are the things. But new, new few units are added. 
most of the campaign features they are really good so yeah now it's up to you how to play the campaign this is south south action for you next one is liu bei i'm gonna start soon okay guys uh same let's uh, check what all things we have for liu bei so liu bei he is the uh, virtuous idealist and his play style is uh, companionship and starting situation is easy his main faction currency kind of thing is unity increases your prestige and uh, unlocks administration positions and in community increases if generals are satisfied satisfaction can be managed by unique assignment special units will be e archers and e marks mostly you'll get uh, better archers and marks units special building will be two hunt tax collector and uh, you can unify and you can integrate all those two other special things special characters like wang yu your friend Zheng Fei, he's a vanguard your friend and uh, one of the greatest sentinels of the game zhao yan and this three character starts with you uh, yeah the character type liu bei is humble which gives him plus two resolve six authority no desire for higher officers plus ten satisfaction his ambition to gain that is for humble then we get uh, fraternal which gives eight resolve and 50 percent desire for higher office he is kind plus two resolve and plus six authority satisfaction for faction why is plus five because he's kind plus two public he's a type was commander he gets plus hundred faction support then minus 50 percent upkeep for military infantry that is one of his he can like he can make a uh, big army militia armies fast and plus three mustering rank for militia which will start with a pretty decent okay let's go to the campaign map and check how whatever we have here in phase divided for you bay you have administered tao qian's land with justice and fairness liu bay even putting the imposter yuran shu to ruin but a worse disturbance to the great peace of the land is rising. Tao Tao. He has claimed a large swathe of China as his own, with powerful armies to back his claim. He guards the emperor viciously. But you are not alone. Yuran Shao, an equal to Tao Tao in power and prestige, marches against him. Be wary, however. His indecision may lead him headlong to ruin. Unexpectedly, the Yellow Turbans, still fighting, have joined with you against Tao Tao. They will harass his borders elsewhere, whilst you consolidate with Yuran Shao against the main armies. And if in these tumultuous times fate should plot against you, you have an ally in Liu Biao, who will surely welcome you with open arms. The blood of the Han flows in your veins, Liu Bei, and it falls to you to see it endure and thrive again. Okay guys, we are in the campaign map and mission issued a vassal no more, Sao Sao, the oppressive snake that he is. He proven himself an untrustworthy lord between him and Yuang Shao are inevitable. And now uh, is the time to rise and against this manipulative leader and gain your freedom. It is best to prepare now so that you are strong enough to strike should his eye up, uh, fall upon you. Control the following one settlement either by direct ownership or the military is the Zipai. Okay, this one we have to take it from South South. Will get 2000 fresh uh, gold. Then, mostly mountain offensive uh, uh, and take down Sao Sao. This is the first thing that both Sun Se and Yuang Shao seems uh, like they could be useful allies. Okay, beware of Chang Deng in the south and the Bandit Queen in the north. So, we, we cannot trust Bandit Queen in the north and we cannot. Uh, uh, trust Cheng Deng uh, in the south because Cheng Deng is the lie with Cao Cao. Character recruited 150. Okay, and uh, these are the uh, some special stuff you get post your campaign. So those are pretty much the uh, same thing. 
But um, yeah, let's check the map first. Uh, it is not as uh, big as Sao Sao. You uh, have uh, good relations with Zheng Zheng right now, as we can see. But your, uh, your uh, lands are not that crazy expanded like Sao Sao, so it will be a little bit more easier. You also uh, have a positive income coming in. And it's 4,500 gold you start with. You have like one and a half kind of armies right now. You are at war with uh, South South so lands. I think South South uh, doesn't have any army this side. So these are ready for exploit, but you need to defend against him also. You need to do strategy. Or else either you go with the battle with Bandit Queen, or you, uh, you are not at war with Cheng Deng, but you, know, you can trust that. This way. So now it's up to you how you uh, like uh, check it, whatever you want to do, you can go ahead. But you start with uh, two armies one is commanded by Liu Bei, while well, Zhang Fei and uh, uh, Zhao Yan uh, is available with you, and one other uh, small army has more like a of Wang Yu is right here. So maybe you can fall back a little bit and take uh, help from the garrison. From this settlement and With maybe try to uh, south south here yeah. or maybe recruit some more on the other hand you can push toward this side and or else go here take this settlement go here and take this area you can easily take it from south south maybe later on take dong so that south south gets a little bit more in problem and can support yuang chao to come from the north and uh, to help you so now yeah after that uh, let's uh, go to family tree so we are uh, Liu Bei's son, uh, son of Liu Hong. He is married to the Lady Mi. We don't have any kids right now. Liu Bei himself is 39. The Lady Mi is uh, 33. So maybe we'll have a chance to get. Our court is not that big. We don't. We have to record. But uh, you know, quality always stands above quantity. That's what I will say. We have uh, like literally three of the best friends we got. Apart from that, we have Yang Yan. He is a champion type character. He is uh, pretty good, but uh, yeah. And uh, Zheng Fei, Guang Yu, and uh, Liu Bei, uh, they start with their own legendary weapon. Uh, but uh, yeah, those are your uh, codes, and you can see lots of positions available. But they are locked only right now. Your chancellor is available. Uh, so slowly, slowly, it is like you know, beginning of the new. Your prime minister position is locked. Your faction here is open. You don't have a ear, so you have to. You wanna put as a ear? So let, let's see. We are uh, not even second mark here. Tomorrow, it's just I think we just got separated from Sao Sao. So you need to go up in the ladder, and the same thing. You have to capture three emperors and ninety-five. Settlement to finish the victory condition. So, yeah. So, that's the family tree and course. Let's go and uh, we don't have any spy position level right now. Let's go and check out the reforms. And, uh, yeah, we have. Uh, we start with research up to, uh, up to here. This traffic was maybe uh, we can do three researches at 10 percent Spanish. We have some food researchers done here. Fifty percent salary re, uh, researchers done. Maybe we need to get if we need to get more administrator, we can research. Raise up time. We can get this one for more income. Get this for trade. Reduce salaries. Go in this line. So yeah, yeah. The uh, research trees are pretty much the same. And then uh, treasury, as we checked, uh, looks uh, the same. Tree. Not bad right now. We don't have any uh, of uh, them available, so we cannot uh, get any of the faction council. Suppose uh, let's appoint somebody, right? Why not? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's appoint him. Let's see. People are migrating here, but there is. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, we can only uh, get uh, Prime Minister, Grand Director, Grand Excellency, Grand Tutor, and Grand Commandant in your council. I think Chancellor position. Uh, yeah, 
this is uh, this doesn't considered as uh, uh, like you, you know he will not come in faction counters all these five positions come so here grand commander is your commander in chief with supreme uh, operational oversight in military grand excellence is like finance minister in particular is the affair of treasury and oversee developed projects of your commander grand director is head of the officials overseeing community organization of your command Grand Tutor uh, advises your official in foreign affairs and personal contact and dealing with boys. Nice. And the Prime Minister office carries enormous power, exerting influence across your entire faction. Yeah, nice. With those details, these things look really good. So these are the things you can Faction E. Uh, this post is active. Okay. So we have to put... Uh, you must have an uh, ear to succeed you chosen. From your family or uh, failing that uh, your most loyal companion okay so who will be the next family leader so that's one of the other thing and like imperial in you is like same like earlier we start with 70 uh, with the emperor emperor kind of likes us so we uh, if we want to reduce uh, it we have to just select it in uh, cost of imperial Intrigue, uh, like suppose we want to decrease it for South South, we can we can uh, spend ten and look at this South uh, Duchy of which is on thirty five right now, it is on minus four satisfaction and uh, we are on sixty from seventy. We came down. To 60. We can do it on any other factions. Like it is like you know manipulating or your relationship with your emperor, how you are with your emperor, all the stuff. Yeah, research we have explained, and right now uh, one of our character has very low satisfaction. I think good. So again, it depends on your campaign. You wanna keep him or you wanna leave him. So you can just decide it. Uh, for the buildings, you start with a tier five capital and uh, tier four uh, capital. Uh, other building, uh, ZIP. So we have a farm here which can support. Yeah, it's a farmland which can support you on. You have another small fish, a uh, fishing port here, which gives you food. And here, I think uh, we don't know yet which land is. We have to explore this side. There, uh, it, this is Yuan Tang, the new faction. Kongrong was supposed to be there, but Kongrong is still under Tao Sao. Yeah, and here, uh, this all land, I think, is a uh, vassal for. Uh, Yuang Shao or something. So just check it out. Check your diplomacy and all the other stuffs. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it uh, for Liu Pei uh, in this uh, DLC. Yeah. Okay then, I'll catch you with Yuang Shao next. Don't go anywhere. Be right there. Okay guys, face to buy that Yuang Shao campaign second. Tao Sao. Here we go. So Yuang Shao, he is a permanent commander, and uh, his uh, faction focus style is alliances. Starting situation is easy. Then uh, recommended characters are Yuang Shang and uh, Zhang He, Yang Liang, Wang Chao. Those are the characters uh, pretty important for him. And unique features we can uh, we can get captain retinues, the uh, warriors of Yi. They are. Uh, uh, one of uh, the good units and defenders of Hebai. Those are one other kind of units, uh, special units for us. Then uh, Yuang Administrator Office gives a plus uh, income for all resources, public order and increases lineage. And we have the Captain's Armory, uh, which is a feature we'll have to go to the campaign map to check it out. Okay, let's check. Uh, uh, lineage is a special currency kind of thing from Yu for Yuang Shao. Allows recruitment of new characters, improves occupation, option to reinforce and resupply, can forge alliances uh, from the start of the campaign. Then lineage is gained uh, from all members of the alliances and coalition initiated uh, by this faction. Use your lineage to unlock higher tier of captain's armory. Nice. And character type Yuang Shao. He is arrogant, which gives him plus two instinct and plus six authority. 
minus 15 chance of evading capture in post battle. Then charismatic plus 12 authority plus 5 satisfaction faction wide plus 3 public order uh, in administrator uh, commandery increases ambition gain independence as administrator. Then he is weighed. Minus four, uh, 4 cunning plus 6 is take 25% upkeep for his revenue. That's not a good thing. But plus 1 uh, starting rank for all victors. Um, then he is a commander type. A character excels in inspiring friendly troops but weaker in melee. Best grouped with retinue from melee cavalry. So he has plus 50 reinforcement range, uh, minus 15 recruitment for all spearmen units and plus the starting rank for polem infantry. Okay, so yeah, let's go in the campaign map and check him out. All of northern China bows to you, Yuan Shao, as the rightful ruler. Yet south of the Yangtze, there is one who dares to oppose you, Cao Cao. His territory and military is vast, with capable commanders. His capture of the Emperor too lends him legitimacy. But you need not face such a foe alone. To the south, there are those who would join you against him. Liu Bei and his brothers particularly are effective leaders. Perhaps they can be drawn into serving you more permanently. However, you have internal problems to contend with. Your sons bicker over who should be your heir apparent. There is no clear answer. And without one, there are bound to be problems. Elsewhere, to the west, you have driven John Yen from his mountain hideout. But you must finish the job before he is able to reconsolidate his elusive strength. You are the dragon of Yuran, and your roar shall be that which calms China's chaotic temper. Only you have this power. Okay, storm in the north. Yes, Cao Cao must be brought to justice. No longer shall behold uh, the emperor as a hostage. He is nothing more than a tyrant before him. He will be brought low. And you have strong forces, powerful allies, and larger states. There is nothing, no one who can challenge now. So grind Cao Cao into dust. Zhang Yan is a threat from uh, within and must be defeated. I think Zhang Yan be a bandit leader in the north, I think. Yeah. And then uh, you uh, must keep your officers loyal or they will be so we have to check uh, our officers carefully or else uh, they maybe Cao Cao can do something there. So first thing, control uh, the following two settlements, either by direct ownership or through military allies. One is Hennai uh, and uh, another is Dong. So same for, uh, it's anti Cao Cao. Cao Cao wants that one, you want Dong. Yeah, but you have to do uh, the same. Defeat five armies and garrisons of Cao Cao, you'll get 3000 gold. Same thing. The new item, it again depends every time, whatever. Point to check it out. This is your lineage bar. So you, you can see uh, the tier unlocks after you have reached 300. So you can increase your lineage by alliance. Okay, let's check the map. So, in the middle, we have Zhang Yan right there he doesn't have any other land here so maybe we can send a army we have like a smaller army here okay we'll, we'll talk about armies later okay right now this is Gao Gang I think he is our boss yeah uh, he is our vassal this northern side is our vassal this are our land so, uh, this is our vassal again so we are pretty much secured by in the north and even in the south. Main thing is just to focus on Cao Cao and maybe just you know hold right now and uh, first defeat this uh, Tang Yan once and for all, completely destroy him and uh, then 
probably move on. On the other hand, Sao Sao had big forces and he is kind of pressing on uh, here also. You can see in Gao Gang. So by the time he is defending himself, you can actually proceed with another army of that side do some kind of things. Yuang Chao starts with his army right there. And uh, you have your another army which is commanded by Zheng Yi. He is uh, right here, so maybe another army should be available somewhere here, south-south. So be careful which side he is going to come either. So we don't have to rush here to attack Hatai. Maybe we have artillery, maybe we can take it. Uh, but again, defend it. Yeah. So anyway, it's up to you. I'm just telling what are the things and uh, other stuff that are having. What are the possibilities we, that we can go through. So, yeah, the map is not that big, so it'll, it shouldn't be that much of a big problem. You start with 8,000 gold, minus 180 as uh, upkeep, of course. Okay, now let's go and check our family tree. Okay, Yuang Shu uh, uh, is uh, dead. Yuang Shao, we are uh, present. Lady Zen is uh, wife of one of our son. Yuang Tan, he is one of, us, uh, one of our son. He is unmarried. And uh, okay, he is uh, he has a different faction, I think. Yeah, Yuang Tan, he went uh, separate. Okay, that's fine. The, our uh, daughter, no, no, actually, okay, our son uh, got married to. Oh. Okay, and now uh, he, this is our faction here, Yuang Shao. So the second army, okay. Is commanded by Zheng He, not Yuang Shao. Fine. So this is our family tree, and these are our nobles. We have one, two, Yang Liang, Wang Chao, Zheng He, which are available characters, and uh, in court we can get uh, some new guys. Uh, one, but uh, again, we have unlocked uh, Grand Commander, Grand Exit. Yeah, comes with unlocked position. Still have, need, uh, have to up, and we'll have three more settlements up. We have uh, one administrator position right now, so we can assign somebody like mostly in the borderline so that uh, can also. But if we uh, we can keep him in the capital also, now uh, it's entirely up to you. Anping doesn't have that much charisma. We do have our destroy corruption faction ears army right there. So yeah, now we have to just uh, take care of this. Now check uh, in the researches. So okay, pretty much 20% uh, salary reduction is done. We can uh, decrease the uh, we can increase the uh, replenishment. This one we can go salary reduction. We can make more food here. Get trade agreement here, get more money, we already have that. Need more administrator, this is the place that we have to deal with. Let's uh, go and check out our relation. We have three vassals and uh, we have allies like Liu Bei and Gongdu. It's kind of in our coalition. I don't know, the yellow turbans in the coalition in this place, I guess. That's... We are at war with these two uh, factions, Zheng Yao and uh, Tao Sao. Maybe we can try to get uh, good with say or uh, other guys. Bandit Queen. Okay. We can see now again. It uh, depends on you, like what kind of a, if you wanted to, to get in the campaign. But this is a pretty decent start in the beginning. Okay, Yuang Tang is our son and he is our vassal. Doesn't matter. So right now, uh, if you want, you can just go across. And don't let him go in in the settlement, that guys. Attack him, night attack, and all those stuff. So you can just go check it out. We have uh, one position of spy available. So maybe we can start spying on Sao Sao and what he stuff. At least you'll uh, keep an eye on him. On the other hand, uh, yeah, we can uh, start the faction council. So here you have a Grand Excellency. Position. He is telling more population, public order, and. Uh, this guy, he is telling Bo Hai, Bay Pai right launched it for 500. We'll get this. In. So now again, uh, let's see. this dude will collect it and circle, uh, circulate propaganda. And we have approved and confirmed it.
so we will have more public order right now as we, and then we can go ahead and check out other stuff and like after that we have to check how our imperial interview goes so right now we have 65 points so if we want to it, it is all uh, pretty much same we have to be like this is uh, imperial favor in next of hours so we'll just south south it goes to 35 we go to uh, 55 we can do it uh, gradually so that is now uh, again you have to decide like imperial uh, interview you have to uh, reduce you can use it for Liu Bei. like mostly you should uh, so that emperor gets furious against them uh, like that you can do lots of uh, real proclamation things you can increase your imperial day increase that your wish now captain armory so this is pretty decent thing increase your full resource to claim the tiers each tier unlocks more bonuses per chip nice so like gr infantry captain we can get next we can choose like all this day choose a bonus to purchase and click suppose more melee damage yeah so uh, this guy will have more melee damage so those are the um, captain you need to collect and you need to uh, keep on increasing your alliance to get and unlock this feature the more uh, you get power you can just spend lineage on them and uh, yeah we need 60 lineage to get this kind of units uh, like that I, uh, so in co cost of that lineage we have upgraded this army so we have one out of 28 upgrades available totally you can upgrade 28 units the next unit which will be available you can just select it here as you like i'm just uh, clicking it here just to show what all things are added and other stuff uh, there so yuang chao starts with army which we see he starts with the uh, yeah vanguard spearmen two of them two of the vanguard crossbows one the uh Singu Noble Cavalry with another general and uh, more cavalries and you don't have artillery so just crossbows, three crossbows, two archers, less infantry though and uh, Sao Sao mostly have more better cavalry but he doesn't have that much of crazy cavalry right now so maybe you can fight with him. just be careful how to fight with him. so yeah those are your basic starting unit this is your other army with the Dabber infantry for him, artillery and spearmen, third general. And your faction here got some uh, expand the basic ones one cavalry, two archers. Okay, your enemy is Zeng Yan. He has his uh, ambush here and he is level Remain six, suckle. and your faction here is level five. So, yeah. But now, uh, let's check one thing. But it is like satisfaction is pretty. general discontent is there. You should uh, just you know, mostly take care of these guys, right? And go and uh, uh, try to give them like any positions available. Mostly general of the left, right, and general in chief, senior officer, general commander, attendant, patrol commander. All these titles are available, but in exchange of some increase of salaries but you should do that so that they just gently don't, don't just run away from you so yeah those are the two armies available for him and uh, yeah but pretty much it so now yeah it's up to you you, you can get stuck here remember two arms. if you want to cro uh, cross the river or, or else you can just cross it, be here, like, yeah, don't be underground, maybe he'll attack, so whatever, if you can come up to here, this I wanted to show, that's the maximum, come. don't force much here, he'll maybe go inside, you can come this side, do some sacking, so that, you know, you can force uh, Sao Sao to come back, maybe his other army should come back, he have an army, big army waiting for you, right there, on the other hand, maybe you can uh, be Sir, here, integrity. go in, like, uh, ambush position so that he, if he comes and attacks you or else uh, this is their land we don't want to lose away let's see we have pretty decent amount of garrison bring this guy over here he can... 
on attacking this person. Again, you can do like that also. Now again, and so I think that's it. That's uh, most of the things we have uh, checked that's so far. Not uh, that much crazy of nobles available for her, but uh, Lady Zen she is available. Lady Zen, Lady Zen. Okay, she married our Zhuangzi guy. Okay, that's why we have given him satisfaction. Mostly, uh, most of them are pretty much decent. So, so don't go anywhere, boys. Uh, let's go and check out the next friend. Leo Tong has a penchant for fostering talent, which is a valuable skill in itself. Okay, guys, uh, back to Liu Zhang. And uh, actually, you can uh, play as his father, but we will discuss it in the last. That is called uh, uh, Betrayed uh, DLC. So, okay. <clears throat> 200 CE Liu Zhang, and uh, he is a proponent of peace. Playstyle focus is inheritance and aspiration. Starting situation is easy and uh, recommended character is Fa Zhang. So inheritance is uh, the main faction thing like Sammy, carry the torch of your predecessor. Generate further uh, aspiration by conquest or by strengthening your land. Use the large amount of aspiration gathered by your predecessors to purchase powerful inheritance bonuses. So the unique uh, uh, units are Dong, Zobing, Deng Zubing Defenders and Deng Zubing Marks. And you have a special feature of inheritance and noteworthy character the uh, Pa Zhang. And uh, the personal trait is delayed inheritance. Uh, plus 5 uh, melee evasion, plus 10 for campaign movement for uh, character incompetent, minus 4 actor expertise, plus 4 resolve, minus uh, 20 character exp experience. Dude, that's bad. Careless, minus 4 cutting, plus 6 instinct, minus 15% uh, chance of avoiding ambush. So you can get more ambush. Clever, plus 8 cutting, 25% character experience. So that uh, is okay. This character is a commander type and uh, he uh, gets the minus 20% uh, character salary and uh, minus 25% uh, de deployment cost and plus 10 faction support all faction. So let's uh, jump into the uh, main uh, campaign map and let's see uh, what we have. You have ruled the lands of your father Liu Zhong with great ability since his passing. Yet more challenges lie ahead of you. To the north, Dong Lu wars against you openly and is on the march. You must meet his force and crush it. <coughs> Conquering his lands will allow your expansion to the north. There, Cao Cao and Yuran Shao are focused solely on destroying one another, giving you many opportunities. Yet your home territory must not be neglected. There is rising unrest. Local lords incite the people's ire. You should be wary. The tribes of the jungle will soon unite under one master. The victor will inevitably look to your lands to expand. Be vigilant. Your father's legacy weighs heavily upon you. See it defended and prove your worth. Okay, guys, so we are in the campaign map. Uh, then, Bright Beginnings, uh, Lord uh, Liu Zhang. It has been a few years since your father's passing, and during that time, China has only sunken deeper into turmoil and chaos. Uh, amidst uh, the storm, you have slowly considered your power to become even stronger. The time is now to set sights on your father's ambition and achieve whatever the, uh, the great Liu Yan could not become the emperor of all of China. Okay, use aspiration uh, gathered by your 
the predecessors to purchase the powerful bonuses uh, your father unlocked for you. Then generate fa further aspiration by having high level cities and by conquering settlements. Engage the following general's army, uh, Young Ran, which will give you taste of victory. There's uh, plus 30 uh, military supplies and plus 5 morale. And yeah, and these are the items you get. Uh, and then uh, titles we already earned is uh, have a projected uh, income of 3000 or more at the start of your turn. So we have more than 3000 income from one turn. So that is crazy. Let's see. Okay. First things maps. So uh, we share border with the Nanmen right in the south here, especially with Menghu. So we have a small army right there. And uh, in this side also we have uh, Malu, I think. Mulu, yeah. We have Mulu's factions in this side. And here we have Shibuke. And here, well, we come Zenglu is your enemy right now so Zhanglu is kind of related to uh, a little bit I think neutral with Cao Cao also Cao Cao is also not that far if you really want to push or else you go and towards Ma Tank but it should be wise if you uh, start towards the Nanmen to the start but you have to be ready to fight against tigers and elephants all ambush battles and all those things because if uh, there are lots of lands for taking and uh, if uh, you can ally with uh, Manghua also to get rid of other dudes, then he will be probably fighting Mulu. You can fight with Mulu and you share this all lands over here. This are your land. Not that big, not that small. It's pretty decent uh, considering. So your army, a tiny small army with uh, one strategist. That is your special character. He has some satisfaction issues. So you need to deal with that. And uh, new life comes new hope. And uh, Liu uh, Zhang uh, there, and there is a tiny little small army. So especially, yeah, you have uh, the full province of Zhangyang, then Shu. The Baxi is, uh, I think, contested. So you need to take uh, uh, this settlement. And then maybe I think. Uh, Okay, this is the settlement you want, with, and it has resources, the tool maker. Then you can start fighting, and maybe it, either you can fight with uh, Liu Bio, or you can have a good relation with him, whatever, however you feel like you can go ahead. Okay, so this is aspiration. You start with 600 aspiration, 10k max, uh, and uh, let's check the family tree. We have like two armies that we already have checked. Yeah, uh, the great Liu Yan uh, was your father. You had three brothers, all of them dead. Oh, and you are the youngest one, and who is uh, presently the leader. You have a son who is 15 years soon. He can assume command, and you have uh, your wife, Lady Liu. She is 30 years old. And nobles, not uh, many, are available right now. Only Da Feng, he is a strategist. So. It will be uh, not that easy to fight against the Nanmen. Uh, they are not at that bad relation with you. You have only ever at war, one war with the Zhanglu. That's it. So some diplomacy can deal with those stuff. The court you have actually pretty much the same as Yuang Shao. Have uh, Grand Excellency and uh, Grand Commandant on. So uh, I'll. Put him as Grand Excellence. You can have two administrators. One uh, would rather suggest in the capital, and one maybe a uh, backseat. Yeah. So you can put, or if you are fighting them, that's up to you where you are going to put. So those are the family trees. Units, the special units are, uh, yeah, the. Some Zobing uh, marksmen there, medium with uh, bowmen with 200 range, pretty decent range with 35 ammo. That is pretty decent. You have one unit of them, the other one has uh, archer militia, and you have uh, Dong Zobing defenders. They are also medium spear infantry, they are also pretty deep. On the other army, 
the generic uh, light archers and uh, uh, light will give you satisfaction going on with some problems and del delayed inheritance gives 10% uh, more col character salary we got our later on okay so let's check so um, the uh, researcher line uh, satisfaction is done income from commerce has been done then income from all resources you can get 15 percent you need to and we have one more administrator log we got the trade uh, trade research we got okay it's more money that's why we are making more money now we have to consider uh, on farming and military line is pretty much not done uh, to get the replenishment and stuff now anyways it's up to you who uh, pre you're gonna start it's entirely up to you you, uh, either you can go and reduce the character salary and yeah you, uh, your income is pretty much decent right now so you need to just master some more units and go ahead for spy positions you can have one spy uh, same as you want Chao. so you now you can use it against uh, this dude in the starting if you want to use or else it, uh, i generally don't spend that much of time for using on spies and other stuff so it's again entirely up to you Treasury, we are pretty much decent right now. We are making the amount of money. So, yeah. Okay, now, uh, as we have uh, made one Grand Excellency, so uh, uh, this is the same thing for every faction. This uh, trade income and as coming up. Side by side, and, uh, your general's bonds will deepen as friends or rivals, so affecting their satisfaction in your service. Be watchful of their relationships and their characteristics as they develop. Okay, so your faction council has been uh, convinced once this year. So you can, I think, you use this every year or something earlier. You can do it like uh, two three together, by eight. but now they have made it like once once. That is actually better. Imperial inheritance is uh, first. Uh, let's see. You will start with fifty five and. Uh, you know, Duchy of Wei, you are not in that kind of bad relation. Maybe with uh, Zhanglu, if you want to remove his favor, then yeah, you can. We, uh, in exchange, we have uh, got a reduction. We came up to uh, 45, but uh, he has went up to 30. So this is pretty decent thing. Now they have added, so you can use this one for different kind of enemies, for different perspectives. Like, uh, <coughs> you can actually strategize and plan it. And aspiration, this is a different thing completely. Inheritance reward purchase powerful temporary bonuses unlocked by having completed tasks during the aspiration phase. <coughs> so we have 600 right now. So private uh, utilage, so which will give 20, uh, which gets to 20 turns cooldown, but intensity levels of character. You can, if you want to level up, you can do it. Or else you can do is spawns and uh, exceptional and ancillary you can do it it will come back after 10 turns then you can do 35 percent come to come up to 15 turns then and again 40 percent replenishment during the war you can do it and it, uh, effect duration 20 turns and you can you have a pull down of uh, 20 turns this is very important recruitment posters this is very important where you get 40 percent replenishment and you can actually further proceed it and you have one more is 35 percent campaign movement uh, uh, with uh, 15 turns effect so either you, uh, you these two are really imp uh, awesome like 35 percent campaign movement or else uh, more replenishment now whichever you want you can do it and then uh, you have it unlocked so you can get 75 percent character uh, you can no longer unlock this bonus right now yeah <laughs> Create mechanism for every member of your code uh, can learn and practice new skills. Okay, so private tutors. You can yeah put other guys. I think and, uh, that's that's why we have we can unlock them in the late stage. But right now these are pretty much uh, good enough in the start. If you need money, we can go. If you need uh, soldiers with good movements, you can do all this stuff. You can do right there. Mm, so as yeah we told two armies we already have and i think yeah just we need to tweak some changes on the satisfaction level that i think we already taken care of the satisfaction level just uh promoted that guy here and uh, yeah 
that, uh, that's it pretty much right now and uh, so you start as a rank of Marcius so you need 150 points second Marcius is already passed by your father so once you re need uh, reach Marcius you can go for Duke then King then Emperor is the same thing 95 settlements plus uh, 3 Emperor six. should be fun but you know and uh, it is this kind of a safe kind of campaign in a sense uh, if uh, you, you know, you have to look at uh, this men, men who they're fighting, how is the civil war is going on and what they're doing. But before that, you may consider gathering up these resources, close this border, maybe destroy the faction, and get in good relation with Liu Bio, maybe. And guys, uh, remember, uh, don't forget to trade food with Liu Bio, he always buys a tons of food. That should help you. Okay, I think, yeah, that should be it for this person. And uh, let's uh, go to Menghuo, and then after that we will go to Lu Zhang's father. Must rise above the rest. Menghuo has survived, drawing many Namman tribes to his banner. But there is further work to be done. Okay, guys, Manghua, and uh, mostly if you play the Nanman, uh, the Furious Wild DLC, or uh, like mostly these guys uh, be at good relation, but they are not married. So uh, you need to make them married. But here you get a chance where uh, Lady Zurong is already married with uh, Manghua, and uh, you can start playing as Manghua, and you can have this two legendary lords. Awesome. So Manghua, King of the Men. Poker style aggressive expansion, then uh, starting situation is easy. King of Kings, gain temporary bonuses from uh, fatalities, that effect lasts for a number of turns and can be stacked. Access uh, to all reform areas. Then unique features are uh, Nenzong Spearmen, Nenzong Champion, and Nenzong Elephants. So, uh, Elephants uh, <laughs> plus. Uh, and minor uh, small unit of elephant, but they can have more of them. Then good uh, against shields and missile defense. The then mentioned champions and uh, anti cavalry good against mounted, weak against missile attacks. The uh, Nanzong spearmen and you have fertility of men. That's a special trait where you can uh, get uh, it as Nanmans, and you have a true leader of the Nanman. Diplomatic relation with Nanman faction. Negative, uh, positive, and negative uh, uh, diplomatic relations with Han faction. And noteworthy character is Lady Zurong, as I said, she married them. So, okay, and uh, let's see the character traits. Uh, um, Mang Hua is uh, brave with 12 resolve and 3 morale. He is ambitious uh, with 8 authority and 50% desire of uh, higher uh, office, 5% income from all resources. And increases ambition to gain. Then uh, stop, uh, stop burn, and he has plus uh, six resolve, minus six, uh, minus four authority, and enables unbreakable. So he gets unbreakable. If you give him the elephant, also he gets unbreakable. Nanman fury uh, is uh, the staple of Nanman, as it as uh, is the destruction it brings. Minus twenty percent chance of evading capture post battle because of that. Plus 5 melee evasion for Nanman units and plus 5% replenishment. It's a good trade. So these are the trades, so let's go to the campaign map and check it out. The world burns, Meng Huo, as the greed of men rips it apart. You and Zhu Rong have calmed your people, but you must unite the tribes or else face the same chaos. King Mulu, mystic lord of the animals, still opposes you and must be the first of the remaining tribal lords to bow to you. Shamoka understands the world of the Han, as well as the Nanman. His resistance to you must end too, but it would be prudent to bring his wisdom to your side. When the tribes are united under you, the nearby Liu Zhong should be dispelled from the land to prove your might and secure your territory. With Zhu Rong at your side and your own grand ambitions driving you forward, 
all of China will be yours to rule. Okay, guys, we are in the ca campaign map, and you start with nine tribes united out of twenty land manufacture. So, the tribes are united under a single banner. Our neighbors uh, now recognize our ambition and will likely stand against us. Choose your target wisely. Unite the strong under your banner. Cross the weak beneath your heel. Then gain the fertilities of all Nanmen tribes. You'll get 2000 treasury and unlock the rest of the reformed. Then subjugate or destroy King Mulu. So you will get uh, vassalize or destroy King Mulu. You'll get 5000. So as I said earlier, Mulu is the primary target for New Hong. And uh, you have a decent amount of men right now. Shouldn't be that hard to destroy Mulu. So Mulu has also a pretty decent amount of uh, settlement. Right, one, two. Okay, we'll check the map soon. And uh, subjugate or destroy King Shemoke. Okay, same thing for Mulu and Shemoke. You'll get 5 5,000. What all items we got? Not important because it changes every time. So, yeah, let's check on the map. So, you, com uh, you control uh, most of the south. And uh, you are kind of in... Okay, Shize is not in like very bad really. And uh, oh, the Himalayas. Yeah, these are the Himalayas. Okay, so um, this area is completely under your control. So uh, your land is uh, uh, kind of you know uh, fixed, or you know you, you don't uh, have to worry about any attacking. You, you can concentrate fighting, and if you get a military access on this, too, maybe you can come from this side, or else you can you have to from here <laughs> as well as here. So, uh, don't maybe don't fight with uh, Shemoke in the start. Start uh, subduing Mulu in the beginning, and then you can go ahead with the other. So uh, you start with uh, your uh, Lady Zurong together with a decent army of one elephant unit, along with some Nang Nang, Nang men, uh, uh, spearmen and Nang men warriors with one followers of the two units of followers of the flame, and that's a decent army. At the start and this settlement that Mulu has doesn't have that much of garrison instantly you can actually next time you can go here go hide and next time you can attack Mulu's army here has elephant you have elephant so pretty much balanced but other things I think in order and Lady Zurong is there or uh, if you don't want to push forward or if you want to push it entirely up to you you can use your second army right there he has uh, there is some issue with the satisfaction what we can see but Anyway, you can deal with it late. Uh, but either you can go here, go to ambush, and then maybe next turn you attack. But uh, I'd uh, rather suggest go first and buy it and check it out what's going on. Other things looks pretty decent here. You have actually one more army over there. Yeah? Uh, but uh, to be honest, this army I don't think it maybe an administrator position that will more help you. To be honest. Okay, so in diplomacy, let's see we are. Very bad in relation. Shize has tons of vassals, so and he is not happy with us. So maybe we have to deal with it later. But first, we have to deal with this to do because we are already at war with Shizeh, okay and Mulu. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much it. You have a, uh, some kind of defenses from the south, so nobody can attack. So everything, all attack will come from the extremities of your border. So Shimoke and Mulu, first take care of Mulu, then go for Shimoke. That should be pretty much it. Reform, you uh, got 9 fifties. now you have to check like what all things are remaining. Uh, either you can, uh, yeah, you can have some more elephant taming signs up. So, yeah. Not that much of uh, research has been done though. This technology will be locked until you unite all the tribes. These all things are locked, these are unlocked, but still you you will need like, you know, uh, like few turns to complete it off, like suppose whatever you want to start, like animal taming, it, it's gonna take three turns and slowly slowly you can develop your research. And the finances, uh, not uh, good, 14 gold as, but you have too many armies, I'd rather uh, like keep him as the administrator so that you get uh, some relaxation. 
on the upkeep they were giving pretty high upkeep 120 on them and uh, as uh, we know they have an army here but we don't want to fight them right now just be on defense that uh, with them to the hunt empire factions until you uh, already finish war with and shit. But I'll say. And tribal fertilities are okay. Which all factions we have destroyed, you will have them. And which one you haven't, uh, you unlock it. Pretty much same thing for from few years. Well, nothing uh, much of that. So let's go uh, to the family tree first. So you have two brothers, and uh, they are a uh, bachelor. So you can marry and you know, you get some more females. Uh, in your faction and uh, you are married with Lady Zurong, you don't have a kid, so you the faction here position kind of uh, remaining. Well, you don't even have a position right now. Is some you have a position if somebody else is there. You have one more tribal council, uh, you can have four tribal council members, right? And you can place them here. So, only uh, one you have right now. And uh, cave, law, cave lord, you have. Uh, one, I think you can still increase the number. So, yeah, that's it. Now just select anybody from there. Uh, uh, you don't have that many, so you can be careful of the uh, salary increase, though. But I'll say so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The units what we started. I think Shadow already uh, check the units of this. Uh, yeah, mostly you start with Nanman Spearmen and Nanman Warriors, so you can just slowly, slowly. Get the better units. Uh, let's go to our cap. Uh, it's better that our capital is uh, uh, pretty much like much deeper. Oh, you can do total of two assignments. So uh, now you can select which assignment. Yeah, you can just select whatever buildings you want according to your wish. Just I'm just uh, showing like what uh, what all changes are there in skills you can have. Uh, like a look and decide what you do. Yeah, let's uh, go. So these are the five factions right now: Sao Sao, Liu Bei, Wang Shao, then um, Lu Zhang and Mulu. These are recommended factions by the game, so that's why I have done uh, done it for uh, page divided DLC. There are lots of other factions also. I'll be telling you uh, soon. And uh, now uh, we have to the uh, last but not the least lord. Okay guys, special entry for uh, Three Kingdoms main campaign as well as 194C uh, World Betray DLC is Liu Yan. Yes, you can play as Liu Yan Yan now. So yeah, let's go and give a quick uh, look on his things and then we'll go back to the campaign map. So it's opportunistic ruler. Play style focus inheritance and aspiration. Starting situation is hard. Aspiration prepare to pass and uh, the torch to your ear by stockpiling aspiration by a trade off or conquest. Complete task to unlock uh, lucrative inheritance rewards, uh, with uh, can be used by your ear. And then uh, spend aspiration on inheritance reward for powerful effects. You start with the Dong Zhengbiang defenders. And Dong Xingqiang marksman, and you have the special uh, inheritance features for you. Your noteworthy character is Lu Zhang with some under type right now. And uh, your personal traits are ambitious, plus 8 authority, plus 50% uh, desire higher position, 5% income from all uh, sources, and then you are deceitful, 6 cunning, minus 5 uh, cover cost for your uh, performing spy. Then Superstitious, you get plus 6 resolve, plus 2 instinct, a randomly triggers uh, superstition events for their owning factions. Okay, then strategies, uh, able, uh, able to severely impair and the efficiency of the enemy and uh, units and generals in the battle. They also provide use of formation to nearby friendly units. However, they are extremely fragile, best grouped with the Retinue of ranged infantry minus 20% uh, character salary, 20% redeployment, 10% faction support. So, yeah, let's begin and let's go to the campaign map and check like, what we have as Liu Yang, the main camp. Liu Yang burns Liu Yang. 
And the Emperor is now at the mercy of Dong Zhuo. Though grim, this chaos may be the ideal chance for you to seek greater autonomy from the dynasty. Zhang Lu is currently no threat as his mother is our captive. However, should he find his courage, he could become a greater danger. More crucially, however, you are beset by rebellion. You must strike them down, lest they gain strength and multiply, overwhelming you. The Nanman tribes of the jungle are fractured and divided, just like the Han. Should they unite under one tribe, however, they will become an imminent risk to your rule. The future and legacy of your name lies in the moves you take next, Liu Yan. Make them count. Okay, guys. Uh, seeds in the garden. Liu Yan, my lord, you have been appointed as governor of Yi province, as you requested. This place is far enough away from central Hanru that we can work on developing our ambitions and aspirations for. There I say it, Emperorship, as uh, the Han Empire wavers under pressure from its foes and the tyrant Dongzhou makes uh, a mockery of the imperial authority, uh, what opportunities will we carve out of this? So complete aspiration tasks to prepare your ear and offer the uh, various bonuses once the takeover. Enable aspiration trade-offs to generate an aspiration resource which your ear can then use to purchase powerful bonuses. Keep an eye on inheritance timeline and try to uh, pass the mental uh, ideal point of time. Okay, so destroy the following faction. Yalong. So this is what is main three kingdoms uh, campaign. So yeah, we have to destroy him. He has a small army right there. So we have to fight with him right now. And uh, I think this is still ruins and the Nanman tribes are not that much stressed we have Han Empire right there and one side and we have uh, yeah here also is Han Empire Han Empire Han Empire we have on like uh, we start with the uh, one province okay let's go and uh, this uh, uh, things are not important changes we literally have zero aspirations with starting on and let's see our family tree, we have four sons. Uh, Liu Zheng is uh, 29, Liu Mao is uh, 32, Liu Dan is 35, and Liu Fan is 40. So, um, mostly Liu Zheng should be, oh, he is the year, so he should be uh, next in line. Started with level 2. We have pretty <laughs> less resources, we don't even know that much faction. But uh, at war with Xia Long and no Dong Shua. So, yeah, our code is pretty much empty. So we can put one counselor in and, you know, start doing our different stuff. Uh, uh, right now, we are uh, not even second part here to start with. So, we have to just kind of carve out and fight here. Now, uh, for after destroying this, I think they have one settlements right now. And if we take it, I think that's it. Then we can start fighting with men, men maybe push towards this side. Or maybe just... Uh, Wait until the Han falters and then we can start carving. Uh, mostly you can go towards this side and uh, start taking the Nanman lands and take one more army and go this side. The research tab pretty much common with the Han Empire kind of thing. None of the research is done, only one that is currency based economy where you get 10% more incomes. Everything we need to start from the beginning, so we have to do lots of researches that we can. Proceed forward. Then, apart from that, uh, fa faction council is not available because we don't have any of the part and aspiration. So <coughs> we are uh, we must complete the task to inherit. So first, we have to select one task and uh, start completing. So in, uh, this is in uh, no of fifteen living factions. Uh, that will be, hey, have a city at the level 6, have your ear lead a com and complete 5 battles, have 3 armies with maximum number of units, 
have your ear level up and then win three duels uh, with your yeah and all these things yeah you have to do you have to keep it very check and slowly slowly you can increase increase your AI aspiration and so that he can get all the benefit so yeah those are the things have i think i checked the family trees already and uh, we only know this all faction that's pretty much it. 910 gold we are making 2000 uh, right now we have so we have to just start like maybe and uh, then just action. close it next turn we can make some man you start with your son maybe let him lead the battle because uh, you need to lead like five battles with your son and he is pretty young let him get married and stuff you have to do let's see Luihan. uh we we have two uh assignments right now so can you the character satisfaction is not up to mark, uh, but this is the time will will be trade time, so, uh, like really not loyal. So you can just use uh, some titles and other stuff to increase it and uh, literally start building up from scratches. So yeah, hope uh, you guys uh, have found it uh, informative. That's all what I can do right now. You have like literally one province and that's also one is abandoned so yeah we have to go and capture once you beat them and this is one guy whom you can just go and take him away that's it and then you can decide what to do this is the starting situation of Liu Yan. and these are the two campaigns like 190 and 194 uh, one is mandate deals one is this main three income you play as Yan. and then you can start playing as his son as Liu Zhang even on uh, even on the fates divided deals um, yeah let's move on uh, to 194 uh, CE uh, uh, world betrayed and let's see what do we have yeah catch you soon okay guys it's uh, Liu Yang again in a world betrayal DLC on 194 CE and same thing and now we can see another character Fa Zeng has been added uh, Liu Yang, opportunistic ruler, playstyle focus, inheritance and aspiration. Starting situation is easy. Then uh, aspiration. Prepare uh, to pass the toss to your ear by stockpiling aspiration. A trade off and conquest. Complete task to unlock the creative inheritance rewards, uh, which can be used uh, by their by your ear. And aspiration on inheritance rewards for powerful effects. The same thing, units are also same. Dong Jing, uh, Dong uh, Zhou Bing defenders and Dong Zhou Bing marks when other special units noteworthy characters are Fa Zhang and Liu Zhang. And then, uh, yeah, the characters for you are ambitious, uh, like same thing, deceitful, superstitious, and strategies. All the characters' uh, traits are same. Minus 20 character salary, 25% deployment for cause, and 10% faction for both. Yeah, let's go to the campaign map and now let's check what we have in uh, with uh, uh, Liu Yang in 194 a world betray DLC where Lubu is uh, causing chaos in the middle of China see the campaign map your time runs short Liu Yang and there is still so much to be done if you are to ensure your legacy Ma Tung struggles with Li Jue and will soon be abandoned by his ally. You could forge a new bond and move to capture Chang'an. Such a move would liberate the Emperor, giving you a strong bargaining position. Yet with the tyrant dead, the time may never be greater to declare your independence. Perhaps there is room to expand elsewhere. The Nan Man mercifully still bicker amongst themselves, but that will not last. Taking their land may weaken them and give you a power base in the south. Your long life's journey will soon end, Liu Yan. With what time you have left, stride out and secure your legacy okay guys uh, this is uh, 194 ce where in the world betray dlc so <clears throat> mentored wise ear the work uh, to ensure your ear 
is prepared uh, for their future role is almost endless and you uh, labor tirelessly and ensure the live up to demands of your ambition makes them today and uh, take a step closer towards uh, the goal as an aspiration task is now complete your ear will uh, thank you when uh, the time comes in hurry aspiration task complete and check aspiration tab for more details okay complete aspiration task uh, to prepare your ear and offer them various bonuses once the takeover then enable aspiration trade off to generate aspiration those your ear can uh, then use to purchase powerful bonuses keep an eye on inheritance uh, timeline and try to pass the mantle at the ideal point of time okay mission issued industrial improvement construct and upgrade a building that's the mission right now so ancillary those things are not important you uh, get anything but you uh, start with uh, a pretty much considerable amount of land here and uh, Zhenglu is your vassal right now and uh, Marteng as oh as you see Emperor Xian is being controlled by Liu Zhe uh, right now in uh, World Betrayed DLC and his capital is uh, here Chang'an so yeah, we have to uh, make a vassal properly so that he don't rebel against you. And here we are at war with Ba, so we can just uh, go and attack them. On the other hand, you can push towards the Nanmen and, you know, uh, try let them not confederate with them. So this dude, uh, he has great weapons. Uh, the Wutugu, King Wutugu, so he has like, a legendary weapon, you know and snatch it out so you start uh, with uh, two units of uh, Dong Xingbing marksmen and Xingbing um, defenders two of them and uh, two units of archer militia and two archers your son is right there with you so let's first uh, go and check your family tree so Liu Yan you have uh, four sons Lu Fan, Lu Dan, Liu Mao and Liu Zhang and uh, Liu, uh, Liu Zhang is a general now you have to decide who you're gonna consider and we have three nobles right now available it's Fa Zhang, Liu Chui and uh, Fan Min Fan Min yeah your code uh, again you have two more positions available so you can put them out and you have administration for one of them available so you can just put them in uh, your capital and uh, yeah you have uh, research not that much of a done next reform is on three turns mostly mm, the trade <coughs> things are done you can go move forward toward this side where you can get more administrators go this side for farms go this side for character uh, salary reduction make some more trade from here and do it. Uh, this is pretty much generic an empire situation right now you, you can have uh, one spy where whatever you want you are not at in the conflict with the uh, Sao Sao Lubu and all those guys over here in like the central China area yeah right now you have to consider it with the Nanmen tribes mostly on the other hand let's see on uh, your faction council you don't have anybody you can select one guy as a grand commander and you can ask for him it is like pretty same for them and we have uh, this imperial interview is locked here because uh, uh, imperial favor enemy of the Han M and imperial action mechanics it, it only unlocked when Empire Xian comes of age in 197 CE we are still on 190 so it's locked it is not available right now for aspiration we have to uh, like complete different tasks what uh, we have for uh, so that uh, our next generation can get all the benefits so you can just select whichever you want so within 190 194 inherit aspiration inheritance you can just select one and you can inherit it and start completing equestrian for cooldown is 10 turns you can see all this soldier drill 35 campaign movement range and economics uh, similar 35% uh, 
income all those things and again uh, this is the time frame when we can uh, inherit so use this step to switch between the aspiration and inheritance yeah. so you, you can uh, like yeah for inheritance uh, this is the thing when you uh, switch uh, he will get all these benefits right now all these are blocked because these are aspirations you have to complete the task as soon as we complete them it will get unlocked for him before we die he is pretty old right now uh, you can see so for that reason whenever uh, he will die uh, his son or whoever you want to make that yeah he should get it right now he is 63 he hardly has three four years five six years of time he is a very good strategist so that's what he is being doing on the other hand right now you don't have any other army if they want to attack they can you can have to get one more army from this side you have you are getting the decent amount of money you have a small army we have already shown so you can just come down here start fighting with them and yeah that's pretty much it the new feature is pretty decent and try to get your sons married maybe uh, secure their line before you go so that we can retire properly and after that maybe go to heaven <laughs> and uh, you start with 250 aspiration now and uh, it depends on each uh, campaign so i think yeah that's pretty much it we are uh, at war with uh, guamao and we, we have uh, zhang lu as vassal guamao uh, should be in this side of areas but uh, right now this areas ladies are wrong and this thing but uh, they are pretty out and Huamau has actually some lands here. Okay, I mean that's Ba. Okay, Huamau is this one. Sorry, never mind. Never mind. My, my, my mistake. Okay, Huamau, I think I thought that other men men did. Okay, he is right here. So you have to fight with him. Don't start a battle or maybe if you want, you can do it later on. That, that should be it pretty now. I thought that other guy's uh, name and men guys, but nah, my mistake. I'm sorry. So Huamau is here. He has uh, one, two. Two settlements maybe something here we can just spy it out and check out what's going to happen yeah that's it in the world uh, betray dlc you start with a uh, tier 5 and uh, you have three positions for your uh, assignment to be assured so yeah that's it so yeah i guess uh, yeah those are all the faction details what we have uh, just uh, said guys so thanks a lot for watching and I hope uh, uh, all the whole video with the different faction it has been useful to you and uh, hope uh, you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it do consider dropping a like do consider subscribing the channel and uh, keep the notification on because I am in YouTube and uh, I will, while you're watching this video, I'll be actually streaming some uh, uh, legendary gameplays of new DLC. Apart from this, I'm gonna uh, upload legendary guides on the faction. So, yeah, feel free to check them out and uh, do consider checking uh, my uh, Twitch also. If you are interested in multiplayer uh, tournaments, you can always contact me. Our website link is down below. And all the other things. So, on this note, uh, this is for Spartan signing off for now. And uh, I think, yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for everything, and be safe in Corona time. Take care and be good.